I'll give you the, we'll get all of the sort of wordy stuff done up front, and there's a little bit later on, but um, some later on, but up front, the definition, the strict by the book definition, or by the roadmap, I should say, um, for what integrated pest management is, and you'll hear people debate about what this concept is, um, but according to the USDA, um, it's a sustainable science-based decision-making process. So, um, quite often that involves the combination of different methodologies that we're all very familiar with in the industry, both the biological, cultural, physical, and chemical tools that we have in our arsenal. And this is an ever more sophisticated, science-based array of tools that we have to use. But it um, doesn't always involve um, combining multiple tactics, but quite often it does. Um, it also, in this document, which that's the long, long URL link to it, um, the USDA roadmap specifies that you, the pests are to be identified um, before management um, starts, uh, actions are taken. And that there's an emphasis on reducing risks, not only from the pests that they're trying to manage, but also the pest management practices that are being used in any given environment. And you can imagine there'd be very, very different ecosystems. And people sometimes don't necessarily think about the built environment as an ecosystem, but it very much is. And humans are a part of that ecosystem. So, um, really, um, we're not only reducing risk associated with pests, but also those pest management strategies. Um, and then we want to, of course, minimize economic, negative impacts on economics, um, health, and the environment. And that's the whole idea behind integrated pest management.